Okay, so what I want you to do right now is copy this down. Multiply 1, 2, give, give. Okay, this is called the distributive property. The distributive property, distributive, distributive property means that you're giving. Okay, and you're going to give it to everything that's in the parentheses. You're going to give once and you're going to give twice. I need you right now, pause the video, copy this, copy this, copy this. I'm going to look to see that you have that for your homework, okay? So pause the video. All right, let's look at number one. Because you see parentheses, you're going to give and you're going to give, okay? Let me zoom it in. When I give once, 2 times x, 2x. And then when I give twice, 2 times 3 is 6. You have to put something in the middle. It's a plus. Boom, you're done. Let's try the next one. I see parentheses. Parentheses mean give 9 times x, 9x. Give. 9 times 7, 63, bring down the minus. Okay. Let's look at the next one. In the next one, instead of giving a positive, we're giving a negative. If you give a negative, you need to circle it and be prepared to make one, two triangles. Negative, negative, positive negative, negative, positive. Let me say it again. If you give a positive, you're fine. It's just multiplying. But if you give a negative, you need the triangles to help you. So if I give to the first one, negative 6 times x is negative 6x because a negative times a positive is a negative. And then I'm going to give again. So now this x is gone and I'm going to give the negative 6 to the negative 2. So I'm giving the negative 6 to the negative 2. That's positive, and 6 times 2 is 12. Okay. Let's do another one of those. I actually think I want to jump to number 16. What did I say whenever you see a negative? Not only do you make one triangle, but you make two. When you make the first, a negative times a positive, boom, negative 3x. Then I come over here, and I'm going to give the negative to a positive. So the negative gets given to the positive, so that will end up negative. Negative 3 times positive 5, negative 15. Okay? Let's try another one. This time... We see a negative, but there's no number there. So we put an imaginary one. Now, as soon as I see a negative, I not only do one triangle, I do two. Negative, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive. A negative times a positive, a negative times a positive is a negative, negative one x. Now I give again, a negative times a positive is a negative and 1 times 7 is 7. If you want to be fancy, you give that. This works and this works. They're both good. Okay. Let's do one more. Actually, we'll do two more. Let's do number 21. This time, instead of the number being on the left, the number's on the right, so it's backwards. So instead of giving this way, you're going to give this way. And since this is a negative, I don't only do one triangle, I do two. Negative, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive. I give the negative to the eight, but that's a negative also. So this is a negative given to a negative, which means that's positive. And then I give a negative to a positive x, and that's negative one x. If you want to be fancy, you write it like this. Oops, you didn't see that. Sorry. Okay, we're going to do one more, and we're going to do a fraction. 
Okay, so we're going to jump all the way down to number 38. Okay, I see fractions and negatives. So as soon as I see a negative, triangle, triangle, okay? Negative, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive. So when I multiply a negative times a positive, I know it's negative. Now, when you're multiplying fractions, just take these two numbers and divide them. So 6 divided by 3, 2, don't forget the x. So let me say it again. When you see a fraction you're multiplying, just go 6 divided by 3, 2. Okay? Now, I've got to give this one over here, too. So I'm giving a negative to a positive, a negative to a positive. Boom, that's negative. And I divide again, 3 divided by 9 is 3. Okay? Your homework is to finish this page. Now, notice I have work. You've got to show work. All the answers are here. If all you do is copy, no thank you. You've got to show me work. 